someone older than me reminded me today that the little problems that I have with my kids now are one day going to be the problems that I long to have later on because the problems keep changing and that they miss just the little things they thought were so big the issues that they thought that was so like huge they were having with their kids now they look back and they and they almost miss that they miss that time they miss that season and to be able to be objective when looking at the things going on in our own lives and it just really spoke truth and reminded me of truth because I sit and listen to so many different people that are going through so much different heartache and suffering and hardship and it's so easy to get caught up in your own problems there's so it's so easy for me to look at my kids and see okay their strengths but they're also their weaknesses and then I take that responsibility so there's so many things that we got to work on and I look at myself there's so much I have to work on and there's so much to, have to, to keep a healthy marriage there's so many things I need to be thinking about and being aware of and there's just so many things and it's so easy to get lost in the things and then chop it up to just like a hard season this is really hard but it just as I was encouraged today, I just wanted to encourage other people to take heart in the fact that that's life. Life is going to be a continuation of different circumstances, of different situations that you're in. And who you are while you're in those situations and who you are in those circumstances, they matter. Are you someone that can see that take a step back and see the big picture and know that someone is always in control? God's never lost control. Or are you someone that gets scared and anxious quickly and quits what they're doing and starts to rethink that? And the Bible talks about that as a man, and the man that doubt is a man is like a, that's been blown in the wind. It's like they are, they are unstable in all their ways of thinking. And so it's like, that's often who we are when we're anxious. We come back and we're like, wait, what was happening? I forgot the, I forgot the perspective. I forgot what was happening as a whole. So just an encouragement is take a step back, whatever you're in right now, it may feel heavy and may feel dark. Um, take a step, zoom back and, and really look at things a little more objectively. And that's what we talked about before, just being grateful more often, talking about what you're grateful. This helps a healthy mind space so that you can have the place to think objectively. So you're not thinking about it from such a me this is the situation I'm in, but you're looking at it as this is his story and this is where I find myself. How can I best glorify him in this situation? How can I best represent love? When I say glorify him, I mean represent love to other people, to those around me. How can I represent that, that it can be contagious, that they can love others better too? What can I do that can encourage others to do that? And when we look at it from that perspective, we see even in our circumstances, there's always a way. There's always, no matter what it is, there's always a way to help other people and to show them love and kindness. So while that starts with being grateful, it also starts with encouraging other people. So if you have the opportunity today, reach out to someone, encourage them that their life is more than what their circumstances right now. And their circumstances do not define their life. Who they are and who they keep their eyes on is what truly defines your life.